Hey guys, Goat Mumbler here, along with my partner in crime, Mr. Bill. I want to give you a little update on chasing the ammo at Walmart. There's been a few changes, at least down here. We want to make sure you are aware of them. And you can make your chasing experience more fun. Now I drive by Walmart every morning about 10 to 7. And the routine for the last several months is they put out, they get their trucks in, during the night, and they put out their ammo at 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I'll drive by the stores and I see the same two or three old geezers out front drinking their coffee, smoking their cigarettes, waiting for 7 o'clock to roll around so they can go back and get their stash of ammo, only to put it on the internet and try to rape us with the price. So since I drive by so early, sometimes I stop in and do a little shopping so I don't have uh, time to do it after work and I cruise by the ammo department and only once or twice have I been able to find any ammo that way. They've since changed that routine um, and now they're starting to put out their ammo at different times during the day. So going in at 7 o'clock doesn't seem to work so much anymore. For instance, I was in Walmart uh, about a week ago at 7.20 in the evening and I just happened to, buy, to go by the sporting goods department and sure enough there were six boxes of value pack Winchester white box nine millimeter so I took my three box limit and walked out with 300 rounds of nine millimeter but it's just catch as catch can so you just never know how it's going to work so those days of the 7 a.m. Uh, routine are, are over the other thing people were doing they were going on the Walmart website typing in their local store searching for ammunition for instance here we're going to search for nine millimeter ammunition and up pops you know whatever you're looking for let's just uh, for instance we're going to go down here to the federal value pack 100 round box and it used to say you'll notice this it used to either say in stock or not in stock now all it says is in store only in store only in store only no matter what ammo you're looking for in store only I know for a fact that to be wrong because I know there's some shotgun ammo on here that is in stock has been in stock and they can't seem to get off the shelves but it's showing in store only here so if you will click on it at this particular store once again it doesn't give you any information if it's there or not it just says in store only store information not available in other words they're not going to tell you whether it's there or not but you can show this stock number to a Walmart associate to help you find the item from what I understand the trucks come in they scan the stock once it comes off the truck it immediately goes into inventory that doesn't mean it's been put out on the shelf but it means it's in store and inventory and then once it's scanned out at the register it goes out of inventory so you might walk back to the ammo case and see it's empty but if you give them this number here they can look and see if they have it or not from what I've heard from other people they're just saying if it's not on the shelf we don't have it uh, when in fact it is in the back locked up and they're putting it out you know doling out a little bit each day so anyway, uh, it doesn't make any difference where you do this. Just for instance, let's go find a store in, say, Los Angeles. We'll pick a, uh, we'll pick a super store, super center. Let's try this one. Pico Rivera. We're going to go to the sporting goods department. 9mm ammunition. Search. And what do you get? Well, same story. In store only. In store only. In store only. In other words, you can't find out on the internet if it's in stock at a particular store take your little stock number with you and run down there and get it so anyway the search continues guys I just wanted to give you an update for you Walmart ammo crackheads that uh, they're making it a little harder on us now 
which is in one way bad. The other thing is more people are uh, able to buy the ammo. Not just the uh, three or four old geezers that are going by every morning and taking all the ammo they have and then putting it on the internet and gouging us for the price. Or hoarding it. So at least this way they're serving maybe some more of their customers, but it's just making it a little hard on us. So anyway, good luck on your search. And if you have any comments or questions or tell us about what's going on in the Walmart world in your part of the country, we'd be glad to hear from you. Have a great day and guns up.